Chapter 9 Relation between points, lines and planes Determine if the given set of lines are skew lines. Find the point of intersection if they are not skew lines. And we are given two sets of lines here. R is equal to 221 plus T111 and R equals to minus 2 to 1 plus t 3 minus 1 minus 1. Well, what are skew lines? Skew lines are lines which are not parallel, but even then they don't intersect. Those are the lines which are skew lines, not parallel, but will not intersect also, right? How is that possible? That is only possible when they are in two different planes and the planes are parallel. So if the planes don't intersect, so the lines in those planes will never intersect, right? So that is how you get skew lines, right? So think about it like a box, right? You can think like a 3D box. Let me make one for you. And imagine that we have lines here one on top of the box like this and the other one is here in the bottom layer of the box like this right they may not be parallel do you see that they are not parallel but they are in planes which are parallel and these parallel planes will never intersect so none of their vectors will ever intersect that is how you get skew lines lines which are not parallel but still don't intersect so that's kind of very very important thing to understand and I hope you appreciate this small diagram brings it to life and many students have been having difficulty in understanding skew lines but now I think this is the way to look it look into it so so we're given two equations these are the vector equations of lines and you can compare the direction vectors 1 1 1 and this is 3 minus 1 minus 1 so they are not scalar multiples and therefore they are not parallel right so these lines will intersect correct that's what you will think unless and until they are in parallel planes or they are skew lines so I hope now you understand the question the question here is determine if the given set of lines are skew lines so so how to find whether they are skew lines or not one way is to uh, straight away start finding out the point of intersection it makes sense in this particular case since the second part of the question is find the point of intersection if they are not skew lines okay if they are not skew lines <laughs> well if they are then you have to find the point of intersection right so let me just give you a test for skew or not skew okay now these are my two direction vectors if I do cross product of this then I get a normal vector correct and this point and this point will also give me one direction vector correct if they are in the same plane let us assume then this direction should be normal to the normal right perpendicular to the normal correct so what I'm trying to say is the cross product of this with dot product of this if that is zero then the lines are in the same plane correct so we will use scalar triple product as our test for skew line so the test for screw line is so the test for skew lines is scalar triple product that means let us say if a B and C are three different vectors then then a dot B cross C is what we should be testing right and if this is equal to 0 that means not skew right if th that means coplanar I should write right and if a dot b cross c is not equal to 0 then we have skew lines
okay so this is acid test correct so we will do this acid test and then figure out whether they are skew lines or not right so i'll use matrix to do scalar triple product this is also called scalar triple product why scalar because b cross c will give you a vector but a dot of that will give you a scalar right and then we will check so so the direction between these two lines can be written as this minus this which is 2 plus 2 and then this minus this which is 0 right okay I should write 2 minus 2 and then 1 minus 1 is also 0 let me write 0 here right and then we'll figure it out and then we have 1 1 1 and then this direction 3 minus 1 minus 1 okay so if we calculate this then we get 4 times this is minus 1 minus of oh sorry minus 1 yeah minus of this times this which is plus 1 and 0 times anything will be 0 and 0 times anything will be 0 and therefore we get 0 since we get this equal to 0 that means what that means it is not skew right that means it will intersect correct so let's find the point of intersection now to find the point of intersection it is better to write our equations in the parametric form correct so we will do that and write down the equations in parametric form so this equation can be written as let me do it here so we have two lines and let's call this line as line 1 and this is line 2 and the equations will be from here we can write x is equal to 2 plus t and here it is again y equals to 2 plus t and z equals to 1 plus t correct and for the second equation it will be x is equal to actually it was better if we use a different uh, variable here right because that is going to create problems for us so what I will do is I will change this t to s okay so here x is equals to minus 2 plus 3s y is equals to 2 minus s and z is equal to 1 minus s correct so these are our two equations and to find the value of t and s so that we get the point of intersection our x should match right so we will solve for 2 plus t equals to this so we will solve for this and we will get 2 plus t should be equal to minus 2 plus 3s let me draw a line here so that you know it doesn't really mess up we are moving in this direction correct okay now this is one equation from here we can write uh, uh, that uh, we'll bring this to this side and say t minus 3s equals to minus 4 okay now we'll use the second equation and we'll write 2 plus t equals to 2 minus s so we have 2 plus t equals to 2 minus s and from here we can say well t is equals to so we can bring it here so 2 2 cancels out t equals to minus s right so we get t equals to minus s from here we're trying to solve these two equations now these are the two equations which we are trying to solve and let's say this is equation 1 this is equation 2 now we can sub in this value of t here and then find what s is so if I sub 2 in 1 we get minus s minus 3s is equals to minus 4 and therefore this is like minus 4s equals to minus 4 which means that s is equals to 1 correct so let me push this paper a bit so that you can have a good look at it so we get s value as 1 
Now, t equals to minus s. This implies that t is equals to minus 1. Is that okay? Now, if t is minus 1, then we'll put here in this equation the value of s and t and find what points do we get. Correct? So, if I put s as 1 and t as minus 1 here, then we can get both the points. And let's figure out what the points are. So for x, we get t as minus 1, then 2 minus 1 is 1. And if I put s as 1, I get x equals 2. If I put 1 here, minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1. We get the same point. Do you see that? For y, for y if I put t as minus 1, I get 1, right? And here if I put s as 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. Perfect. And for z, if I put s as 1, I get 1 minus 1 is 0. If I put t as minus 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Perfect. So, you know, we just matched it out also. So that is the point of intersection. Do you see that? Do you understand? So our answer here is, I'm moving, I've got less space here to share with you. And, you know, I want to just finish my problem in this much of space, half page. So the point of intersection is, so is a point of intersection, okay, is 1, 1, 0, right? Oops, x, y, z I've written is equals to 1, 1, 0. So that's our answer, correct? So what we learned here is that two lines which may not be parallel, may not intersect. And these lines are called skew lines. The acid test for whether the lines are skew or not is scalar triple product. That means A dot B cross C, right? Now, if the scalar triple product is equal to zero, that means the lines are coplanar. If they are coplanar and not parallel, they will intersect. And we found how to, where the point, we found the point of intersection using the, both the lines, right? So their x and y and z values should match. And that's what we did. So you need to write your equation from vector to the parametric form and then equate x's, y's and z's to find out the point of intersection. And there we are. Our point of intersection was 1, 1, 0. I hope you appreciate and understand the concept for skew lines. Thank you.